What's up guys? I am currently vlogging me recording this audio, this video, so I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's just get into this video. I'm not even going to do an intro or anything. So I got a suggestion to show you guys how to make Alicia Marie's thumbnails, so I decided that was a good idea. So we're going to do that. So she has all sorts of things she does in her thumbnails, but I'm going to first start off with this guys versus girls morning routine for school. So I'm going to do this in PicMonkey because everyone can use PicMonkey and I feel like it's just the best option. So you're going to go to the design option on PicMonkey.com, go to custom and type in 112, 1280, I always say 1280, you could say 1280, I don't know, I'm just weird like that, by 720, um, and then you're going to click apply, and she has these two photos, um, I'm just going to search, you know, for photos of Alicia, we're going to save those, then I'm going to go to this butterfly option, and I'm going to open both of these photos forgot I'm used to using Photoshop and so it's kind of hard to remember okay so what you're gonna do ah I'm used to using Photoshop so I was holding down shift but that's not what you do in PicMonkey so I'm gonna drag these up like so and how she has it is for this thumbnail she has like this line in between so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take geometric and you're gonna take rectangle and you have to make it maybe this thick Make it long enough to reach each end and turn it white. Then you're going to use this rotate tool and turn it so that it rotates. Make that in the center. And then what you have to do is you have to take the eraser tool right here. You want to make the hardness not completely hard. And you want to... What am I doing? Okay, so you want to make this photo a little bigger first so that it reaches that point like that. So that it's, it compl- ah, not quite. So that there's no corner remaining here. And then you want to erase this excess right here. Sorry, you want the hardness to be all the way up. Then you want to erase the photo just like so, so it goes behind the line. Okay, and then you want to drag this photo and make it a bigger, just like that. Um, you know what, I'm going to rotate this so that it, there we go. Wait, maybe I'm going to rotate it a little more. Perfect. Okay, so now that we've got that oh see how this there's a little white right here we want to make that sure that's gone so just like that okay so now that we have it separated like so you want to she has his verses right here so I'm going to you want to sorry I keep saying I'm going to you want to get the rectangle and make it a square like that and she used it used a neon green so it looks like that and then you want to make this outline right here white and yeah just like so just like so just like so um and does she have it rotated yeah she has it rotated a little bit this way so we're gonna do that okay and then she has this text on top this text here's a little beside behind the scenes you want to go to the text option it is babis new that's the font she uses so I'm going to say versus, it's in white, my voice was just doing really weird things. Okay, then you want to make that bigger so that it will go on top of there. And let's see, okay, so she has it pretty big. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to click it and right click it, select duplicate text, then click and drag down so it's black. Oops, don't want to select that. Then select the black text and say send backwards. Uh, let's move this white. There we go. And then we're going to use the black one to make an outline just like that. 
And then after you're done with that, it looks like she just used a lipstick emoji. I'm gonna use a food emoji just because it fits this thumbnail better. So search food emoji PNG or whatever emoji you're using. Uh, I'm gonna use a donut. So let's see if I can find one. There we go, that's a donut. And I'm gonna save it as to my desktop. I'm gonna go to the butterfly option and import that. Rotate that a little bit. And there you go. You have got a, an Alicia Marie thumbnail. 